Have you checked the What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Uh, first off, let me apologize for the sound of my voice. I know I'm a little nasally. I'm, uh, allergies are, you know, big bad for me right now. So that's why I have to have the strip on and all that. So forgive that. But uh, I am here to react to the newest trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. I am very excited about this. I enjoyed the last trailer, although there was very little Wolverine in it. It did definitely show that Disney's Deadpool was going to be you know, uh, okay at least, as far as um, being as mature as the last two goes. So let's uh, let's take a look at this new one and see what they've got cooking for us, shall we? All right, so in three, two, one, go. I told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. <laughs> Hi, Peanut. I'm going to need you to come with me right now. Look, lady. <laughs> All right, well, I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. <laughs> Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. <laughs> nice. Take a deep breath through your fucking forehead. Love it. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Huh. Come and get him. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, <laughs> nice. Should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, so he's said fuck three times already in this. Saving world. Of course, this you, yeah. <laughs> the music choices in these movies are hilarious. I'm no hero. You were an X Man. It's so cool to see him in the yellow suit, though, in motion. I am soaking wet right now. <laughs> that looks good. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's cool. Giant man helmet. Helmet. Who knows if you live or die? Oh, that's Cassandra. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Bolivian marching belt. They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupter? <laughs> Even Forrest Bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> awesome. That is a lot of fun. Man, okay. This is going to be such a fun movie. So, they threw a lot at me, though. I want to I wanna break it down here, but... Um, just seeing them on camera together is great. Uh, you know, obviously Hugh has has put on some mileage at this point. I'm not saying he looks old; he doesn't. But you know, a, a, a spry fight between him and Deadpool is—I um, don't know. We're, we're gonna—we'll see. We'll see. It doesn't look bad so far, but you know, there's limitations, I'm sure. But it still looks fun. Um, Oh, did you see that? Okay, did you guys catch what that was? Hang on. <laughs> Marvel Studios. Did you see that that's the... It's the 20th Century Fox logo that's buried in here. <laughs> they literally buried the 20th Century Fox logo. Oh, that's too funny. So this is a post-apocalyptic world they do they must jump right 
they got to jump realities. And obviously we saw, <laughs> duh, we saw the portal at the end. Yes, they're going to be jumping realities. This is Hollywood, I'm guessing, because that's the only thing that makes sense to have the actual 20th Century Fox logo buried here. I'm trying to see what this building would have been. I'm not that familiar with uh, Los Angeles buildings and architecture. Um, so that's probably something. But, all right, fun. <laughs> Just the fact that's so hilarious. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, all the all the, the big crews back. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Is it Kimiko? Hi, Kimiko. I think that's what her name is. Peter. <laughs> um, yes, the, uh, the roommate lady, uh, Dopinder. And, uh, yeah, the, the whole gang is here. That's awesome. What is that in the back? Now I'm just looking at stuff in the background. It's just a ship. It's a part of a ship. So that could have been... And look, that's like a, a an airplane wheel. So it looks like a lot of crazy shit went down. Um, all right, keeping going here. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the thing. The, he, he apparently pulls this logan from before the movie logan happens so at some point he's got to go back and and die in logan um but this are these a bunch of x-men graves is that what these are no it's just it looks like just a wall or a fence or something but it could also be monuments but i don't know i'm i don't know if he drops down well, he's dropping beside one he's not dropping in front of one so maybe it is just a structure and he's seeing something right now. What is he seeing, I wonder? I need to rewatch and listen to all the words because I was kind of laughing through some of it too, but... <clears throat> That's hilarious. This is hilarious. The the claws in the crotch. And then the, yeah, the shooting. The, that's the fun thing about both of these characters. Both these characters have a healing factor. Um, they have the strongest healing factor besides the Hulk in the Marvel Universe. Well, I'm probably missing some people. But those are the main three that have a crazy healing factor. Um, and these two, their healing factor are very, very closely linked. Um, I can't remember in the comics. I'm not that familiar with Deadpool lore. But I think Deadpool might have been... <coughs> I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I, I thought he might have been a part of Weapon X at some point, but... The claws look good coming out of that. Like, that's good CG right there. That claw extraction. Hang on. Um, yeah, that looks really cool. Like, the CG's come a long way, man. And the reflections on the on the blades and stuff. You have the yellow under, you know, on the underside here. That's, that's tough to do with CG nowadays. But this looks so cool. It actually looks like freaking the Wolverine suit from the comics and shit. It's so awesome. Okay, so someone said in the last trailer, because we only saw her from behind, wait, hang on, but the, this character is Cassandra Nova. So for those that don't know, Cassandra Nova is the twin of Charles Xavier, uh, who technically Charles Xavier murdered in the womb. Not, obviously not on purpose, but... Uh, well, I don't know. I, like, I have the issue. I think it was the Nuff Said issue. Uh, but uh, but basically, they were in the womb together, and Charles wrapped the cord around her neck or something. <laughs> the cord got wrapped around her neck, and she died in the womb. But she, uh, she came back. Um, like, that got fixed somehow in the new X-Men run um, that... Uh, that brought x-men back to popularity in the mid 2000s um when grant Mor i think it was grant morrison no it wasn't grant morrison who wrote that anyway um i can't remember who wrote that that run but damn it was huge um uh, but anyway it was uh, it was really cool and cassandra nova is just as powerful if not more powerful than xavier so um if you're curious that's who cassandra nova is I'm sure people will correct me on the backstory, which I welcome, because I don't want to mislead people. But that's what I remember from, you know, over 15 years ago reading the books. God, Jesus, it might be 20 years at this point. Um, Alright, so, keeping going here. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. How does that happen, though? Like, I'm very curious. There's got to be an effect missing. Something in the car that, you know, some energy that throws him up into the air. See, Cassandra Nova. Looks good. Looks like a good version of the character. This is cool. I know you guys might have seen the thing, but did you look down low? If you look down... Oh, wow. So this is going over the giant man helmet that we're about to see. So this happens right after. But there's a face on this smog stuff, or smog, on this cloud, whatever this is. It's uh, it's almost like Hexus from... Uh, anyway, those that know, know. But anyway, watch it in motion. It's like a little dragon's head at the front of the of the smoke. It's fucking cool. And then, yeah, the giant man helmet. This looks like the whole giant man suit. So, did Scott abandon it in one of the fights? I can't remember. Who are all these characters? Okay, so Lady Deathstrike is back. So, that's her right there. This looks like Nightcrawler's father. Yep. Um, the Because he's got the, the devil's tail here. So, Nightcrawler's dad, Lady Deathstrike. I'm trying to recognize see who else I can recognize just from this wide I'm sure I know who some of these other mutants are but I can't place it just off of what I'm, what I'm being shown here but yeah this is it's so fun that they get to play in the actual Marvel Universe now so continuing on oh my god wait that's actually a, uh, a, uh, uh, Scott his skull's in there I didn't even put that together so this is a universe where Giant Man was killed. And he's fucking still in... The body's still in here. So that's Scott Lang. That's uh, Paul Rudd. Uh, Giant Paul Rudd. That's uh, decomposed. Wow, that's a trip. I totally missed that the first time. God. Crazy. Dogpool! That's Dogpool! <laughs> I didn't register that the first time I watched it. See, he's got his own little Deadpool costume on. That's Dogpool. <laughs> so i imagine we're gonna get i don't know if we'll get all of the deadpool core but there's there's basically there's dog pool lady deadpool um head pool which is just a zombie head of deadpool from another universe and i can't remember who the one or two others are but those are the main three of the deadpool core um <laughs> dog pool that's so cool i like that wolverine's like Ugh. <laughs> That's very Mad Max Fury Road. We're going to be getting so many different universes. Well, maybe not so many. We're going to but it, it appears we're going to be in this post-apocalyptic universe for at least a little chunk of time. I don't know what this spiked sphere on the right is. Is it moving? Oh, it is moving. It's just a cage. It's a cage on another car. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. So they're going to fight through the whole thing. Oh, Wolverine versus Cassandra. Okay, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Red action. <laughs> God, I can't believe he's been playing this role. Hugh Jackman's been playing this role for almost 25 years. Probably 25 years because I think the first one came out in 2000? Right? Or was Spider-Man 2000? I think X-Men might have been 2000. Um... And, uh, and so, yeah, 2024, they would have shot it in 99. So that's 25 years of playing the character. But, yeah, going into the... Okay, so this is... this is they're, they're escaping the big cloud. So right behind here might be the dragon head or whatever the hell. And as soon as they disappear in the portal, the dragon head will snap its jaws shut on the camera kind of thing. Because, um, yeah, that looks like the big cloud they were... Uh, that was engulfing everything so they're gonna get out just in time nice that's so fun that's so fun <laughs> and then kevin feige said that's the one thing we can't do <laughs> this is a, this is great i mean it's it's still so much the deadpool humor they did such a good job um at least based on the two trailers we've gotten uh <laughs> let's fucking go all right cool well there you go guys um that's gonna do it for my reaction to wolverine and deadpool 
uh, trailer or Deadpool and Wolverine trailer number two. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And as I said, if I was uh, incorrect on anything, please feel free to correct me in the com uh, comments as well. But thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you to all of our patrons for supporting the channel the way that you do. We greatly appreciate it. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird, and remember, stay scared.